Hey all, uh, Church of SDFU. Um, I want to talk today about a, a little factory, uh, Foxconn factories in China. And they were in the news a while ago because they were the ones building parts for uh, Apple products and their employees had this unfortunate habit of killing themselves because the working conditions were so bad and so stressful um, that they actually had to put up nets under the windows so that the workers who were constantly jumping out the windows uh, wouldn't successfully suicide. Um, and this was all a bit embarrassing, I guess, to Apple and um, everyone around. Um, so Foxconn has finally found a solution to this problem. And the solution, of course, is um, not to treat the employees better so that they don't suicide. No, the solution is they're going to automate the entire process and cut the human labor force out of the equation altogether. Um, which as good capitalists we have to approve of, of course, uh, and we have to say, you know, those employees, why were they so weak? Why couldn't they stand the working conditions? Why did they all have to suicide? Now it's their own fault if they end up unemployed and um, homeless on the streets and possibly, you know, um, you know, being hungry because, <laughs> you know, they just couldn't stop killing themselves. How ridiculous is that? Well, pussies. Um, but really, uh, all sarcasm aside, what this show, what I think this shows is this nice, this nice way that the modern capitalist system treats human beings, and it really shatters this illusion, this, uh, this thing that people so often bring up that really this is the, the system is going to be improving conditions for everyone. It's going to be making things better and better for people as they go along. Uh, you've moved from a place where people were being treated horribly um, and basically being abused to the extent that they kill themselves to a system where they won't be needed anymore at all um, and they'll be having to look to the state which of course many people want to abolish as well or at least abolish all the welfare elements of the state um, to survive um, and maybe next time they apply for a job um, you know they'll they'll be sure to somehow weed out their fellow employees that are trying to commit suicide uh, so that they won't get to this state where a factory basically gets rid of its employees because they keep killing themselves and this is not you know I mean the thing is this is bound to happen because we have too many people with increasing automation of all processes, not just manual labor like in this case, but increasingly it's going to come to more and more complex tasks as well because uh, computers and intelligent systems are progressing in leaps and bounds. I'm in computer science. Uh, it's all happening. No, we're not going to have robo CEO tomorrow, but we're going to have um, computer programs replacing an incredible number of jobs that were previously held by highly skilled people. Um, and as that goes on, the people that are still employed are going to be worth less and less because we have a bigger and bigger pool of people available um, to replace them with. So their working conditions will go down. They will increase increasingly um, be under conditions like those in that Chinese factory. And then eventually, once we can't wring anything out of those people anymore, we just get rid of them and automate altogether. Um, I mean, in a lot of these Chinese factories, the only real barrier is that the humans are in fact cheaper than machines. But once the machines have come down in price um, and we've met the limit of what a human being can take, then the replacement process goes on. Um, and since the world population continues to grow and um, automation continues to progress, this situation will get worse and worse. So in the future, if we keep going like this in your anarcho-capitalist utopia, I don't really see, uh, I've never heard a, a good argument of how labor power will, uh, how the labor force will maintain enough power to prevent conditions from um, descending to this point. So it will basically be a choice between existing in terrible working conditions or being completely replaced by machines and then hoping that there will be um, people to throw you crumbs to help you survive because 
Of course, it may be in the interests of the rich and the powerful to do so, to maintain some social stability, at least until uh, they are in a position where they can, in whatever way, get rid of a bulk of that unproductive, um, unproductive workforce, those, those hungry mouths that are no longer useful because they are no longer needed in the uh, economic system. So, to me, that is what we're moving towards, and this is a ridiculous situation because, of course, the reason why these workers are useless in China is because we have the machines to replace them. Uh, in an economic system that made sense to me, that was humane and humanistic, having machines to replace people would mean that we would have more time because every individual could do less work um, and therefore be free to enjoy their own uh, spare time more and we could just uh, spread that out over the entire population but of course in the current system what that means is um, since all of that surplus um, productivity is being sucked out and really concentrated um, due to the competitive forces and because the value of the individual as a, um, a productive part of the whole is reduced um, by so many of the individual's functionalities actually being replaceable now by non-human beings that are cheaper to maintain, we've reached a place where the opposite is happening. The more this automation continues, the less valuable we become as workers, the more we have to compete and the more onerous the conditions are that uh, our employers and our masters can put on us um, just so that we can make ends meet. And this cannot continue. In my opinion, this absolutely cannot continue. Um, and Really, this, this, these Foxconn factories are a beautiful, beautiful um, little example, I think, of, of how the world will develop unless we have another, um, another kind of workers, workers movement to rival the one at the beginning of the last century that made all of those gains that we've been selling away over the last couple of decades. Um, Church of SDFU. I'm not holding my breath. Um, I'm a pessimistic optimist, but my pessimism is immediate term. My optimism is much longer term, so I think it's going to go downhill for the next couple of years. See you guys all later.